Hello, residents of Florida. It is Clyde here with today's news. First, we must start off that there will be a national test of the emergency alert system in just a second. Don't be alarmed when you hear the EAS tones. It is just a test. We are hoping that this test isn't like the 2011 or 2016 tests. Anyways, now it's time for the weather. Today is a high of 75 and a low of 52. Tomorrow is a high of 69 and a low of 52. Friday is a high of 78 and a low of... This is a nationwide test of the emergency alert system issued by the Federal Emergency Management Agency covering the United States from 2.20 to 2.40 p.m. Eastern Time. This is only a test. No action is required by the public. This message was transmitted at the request of the United States government. Russia has now conquered Ukraine and now what was Ukraine now belongs to Russia. If Putin continues to annex other countries, such as Poland or the Czech Republic, then the United States, along with a few other NATO countries, will decide to go to war with Russia. This may cause the United States to be invaded, bombed, or nuked in the future. Although this is currently not going on, you should still prepare to pack food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a first aid kit, and a battery-powered radio in case you ever have to shelter in place or evacuate. We will first try to solve the conflict peacefully before declaring war on Russia. However, we might not be able to maintain peace in the future. Nothing is currently going on at this time. This is just a warning that something can happen in the future. Stay tuned for more information on this potentially dangerous situation. Hello citizens of Canada, it is Carol here at the Canadian News Network station. We will first start with world news. Firstly, we have some unfortunate news about Ukraine. Ukraine has sadly been successfully captured by Russia, and now Ukraine no longer exists on our planet, and where Ukraine used to be now belongs to Russia. We have talked to the Canadian government, and they said that more likely than not, a nuclear war might start if Russia decides to push into other European. Oh, looks like I got a message from the alert ready system. All citizens of Canada, please stand by for a message from the alert ready system. This is an urgent message to all residents of Canada. This is not a test. As you all may have heard, the Russian Federation has successfully captured Ukraine, and Ukraine is no longer a country anymore, and whatever land used to be owned by Ukraine now belongs to Russia. If Putin decides to invade any other European nations, such as Poland, the Canadian government, along with the United States, Germany and Australia will be sending nukes and invasions to stop Putin from doing what he is doing. The Canadian government will not stand for what Putin is doing. However, this can lead to invasions or nukes against this country. So, to be prepared in case something like this happens, pack food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a first aid kit and a battery powered radio in case you need to shelter in place or evacuate. Nothing is currently happening at this moment, this is just a warning to let you all know about the current situation and prepare you for it. Stay tuned in the future for more information. Ich bin
eine Warnung. Das ist kein Test. Bitte hören Sie sich diese Warnung aufmerksam an, da sie wichtige Informationen für Ihre zukünftige Sicherheit enthält. Wie Sie vielleicht alle schon gehört haben, hat die russische Föderation die Ukraine erfolgreich erobert, und die Ukraine ist kein Land mehr, und das Land, das früher der Ukraine gehörte, gehört jetzt Russland. Wenn Putin beschließt, in andere europäische Länder wie Polen oder vielleicht sogar Deutschland einzumarschieren, wird die deutsche Regierung zusammen mit den Vereinigten Staaten, Australien und Kanada Atomwaffen und Invasionen schicken, um Putin an dem zu hindern, was er tut. Die Bundesregierung befürwortet den Einsatz von Atomwaffen jedoch nicht, da diese schon seit langem verboten sind. Wenn es jedoch unbedingt sein muss, können und werden wir Atomwaffen gegen die russische Föderation einsetzen. Die deutsche Regierung ist mit dem, was Putin getan hat, nicht einverstanden. Dies kann jedoch zu Invasionen oder Atomwaffen gegen dieses Land führen. Um für den Fall, dass so etwas passiert, vorbereitet zu sein, packen Sie Lebensmittel, Wasser, Kleidung, medizinische Versorgung, ein erster Hilfeset und ein batteriebetriebenes Radio ein, falls Sie an einem Ort Schutz suchen oder evakuiert werden müssen. Im Moment passiert nichts. Dies ist nur eine Warnung, um Sie alle über die aktuelle Situation zu informieren und Sie darauf vorzubereiten. Bleiben Sie in Zukunft auf dem Laufenden, um weitere Informationen zu erhalten. All right everyone, this meeting has now started. We now may start our discussions. So firstly, we need to discuss what we should do about the possibilities of the next global war. Does anybody have any ideas on what we should do? What is it? I think we should tell Putin that if he decides to go to war with any other European or Asian countries, we will have to declare war on the Russian Federation. That can work. But that's not all. I think I will give Ukraine some land so that they can rebuild. I'm not sure what land I will give, but I know I will give about a twelfth of my land to them. Wow, what a good idea. I think we should do that. And I think you should make it next to the Alaska border, since I will likely give a portion of Alaska to them, likely about an eighth or ninth of Alaska. Okay, sounds good. Does anyone else have any other idea? What do you have? I think we should form a mini-organization of us four, so if Putin never attacks, we can attack him four times as hard. I like that idea, but I need to ask, are the governments of Canada and Australia okay with joining this organization? Oh. Yes. Yes. Okay, it's settled on what we will do. This meeting is now over. Everyone have a good day. Hello citizens of the United States, it is Fernand here with today's world news. Let's start off with the status of the possible third world war. A meeting with four countries was just held yesterday about this possible war, and a new organization was founded. That organization is called the World War Three Heroes. Their job is to invade or even possibly nuke Russia if they invade any other nations. The members of this new organization are, the United States, Canada, Germany, and Australia. That's all we have for you right now. Stay tuned to this channel to get more news after these messages. Mir ist am 690 Gotha. 
Sie ja kein Titel ja mit Leben nicht etwas. Pell nur oder was kann du sie? We interrupt our regular programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. This is a national emergency message. A national emergency is ongoing or upcoming. All normal broadcasting has been discontinued for the duration of this emergency. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air to provide news and official information. This station serves the Sacramento County area. If you are not located in this area, you shall tune to stations providing news and official information for your area. Do not use the telephone for the duration of this emergency. The emergency alert system has been activated. This is a national emergency message. A national emergency is ongoing or upcoming. All normal broadcasting has been discontinued for the duration of this emergency. During this emergency, most stations will... Attention all United States citizens, this country is now under an attack warning. Attack warning means that an actual attack on the United States has been detected, and that protective action shall be taken. A message from the North American Aerospace Defense Command with critical information will be transmitted soon. Please stand by. 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 was transmitted at the request of the United States government, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, and the North American Aerospace Defense Command. This is not a test. This country is now under an attack warning. Attack warning means that an actual attack against this country has been detected and protective action should be taken. Five nuclear missiles most likely armed with nuclear warheads have been launched at the United States. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear attacks. Prolonged exposure to radioactive fallout can result in death within several days if not treated properly. We have estimated that these missiles will make impact within the next 50 minutes. We have not yet found the targets of these missiles. However, we are working hard to find out for you guys. Because of this, all United States citizens must relocate to a fallout shelter immediately. Bring enough essential supplies to last 14 days or more. The President of the United States is being transferred to an undisclosed location and will speak over the EAS system shortly. Please stand by for this message. The President of the United States will be speaking shortly. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. My fellow Americans, we have feared for decades that a nuclear attack would be initiated against our great nation one day. As terrified as I would believe you all are right now, I urge you all to remain calm, as panicking will just make the situation even worse than it already is. We have already determined the targets of the five nuclear missiles launched ten minutes ago. Anyone within a 150 mile radius of any of these cities should remain in their fallout shelters, or if haven't already, relocate to their fallout shelter immediately, Seattle, Washington, Miami, Florida, New York City, New York, San Francisco, California, and Dallas, Texas. Anyone not within a 150 mile radius of the mentioned cities may exit their fallout shelters. I repeat, anyone within a 150 mile radius of any of these 
cities should remain in their fallout shelters, or if haven't already, relocate to their fallout shelter immediately. Seattle, Washington, Miami, Florida, New York City, New York, San Francisco, California, and Dallas, Texas. Anyone not within a 150-mile radius of the mentioned cities may exit their fallout shelters. We will be enacting our revenge on the Russian Federation with the United Kingdom, Germany, and Australia when the time is right. This concludes this message. Good luck, all American citizens. Hello President Jinping, why did you want to have a meeting with me today? Well, I would like to discuss the invasion of Taiwan I have been theorizing of over the past four years. Oh my god, not this again. How many times do I have to tell you to leave other countries alone? Taiwan didn't even do anything, you just want to invade it for its land. Shut up Vice President Chang. Land is important to me. Also, we need to spread communism all around the world. Nobody has the right to be in a capitalist nation or have freedom. Also, Taiwan recognizes themselves as China. Only we can be China. Shut up. They do have rights to be what they want to be, whether they are communist or not. Also, Taiwan doesn't even have that much land. It's only one singular island. As I mentioned previously, leave Taiwan alone. Oh, that is it? No 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 please don't do That's what he gets for disrespecting my plans on invading Taiwan I guess I will have to think about this by myself I can most likely invade them in 4 days after I get enough supplies Yeah that's what I will do